I found out I was colorblind when my mom noticed that whenever I was coloring for grade school that I just wasn't coloring the right colors. My trees looked brown. I didn't know what blue or purple were, so I would get those mixed up a lot. Crayola, you know, they put all their names on, but there were some, like the color pencils, that did not have the names of the colors on them, so my mom would actually have to take masking tape and write on them red, orange, green, yellow. I still had trouble though because I didn't know <laughs> what the colors actually were. I expect mine to be accurate. I'm just curious to see how his turns out. Truth be told, it is only gray because we have determined it's a, it's a culturally determined norm. We have agreed that that's what we're going to call this particular shade right here. Gray's not even the color. As I used to drive to work, I'd always stop at red lights because it told me to stop. <laughs> I've always been curious about that. That's, that's the thing. I memorize where it is now. When I get mixed up with those ones that are on their sides, okay, we got a problem. <laughs> At work every day, I have to try to match things that I see on screens and replicate it from scratch. And I guess if I couldn't actually see the correct color, that would be a very hard thing to do. Probably wouldn't be able to have my job. <laughs> Figuring out the colors makes me physically ill. I, I feel like I'm having a migraine come on. Staying inside the lines is the hardest part. <laughs> I'm having a hard time discerning, and I shouldn't. Especially when you get into like the the yellow greens and the and the blue greens and the red orange and things like that. I know that's got to be yellow because it's the brightest one on the <laughs> deal. Um, and that's white. But some of the others, I just kind of do my best guess at and hope that it's the right one. Done. Yeah, see, I missed a whole bunch, but I thought I got them all. <laughs>